Gary, uh, a 1-0, sorry, a 1-0. Oh, <laughs> it felt like it uh, towards the end, but yeah, draw here at Harborough and um, a great performance. And you, you must be really pleased with the performance, maybe not so pleased with the end result. Uh, listen, you come to uh, Harborough and you, you come away and you've not been beat. You've had a good day, haven't you? Um, I, just, I just felt from the first minute and I'm... Um, I'm sure Mitch won't mind me saying this, but it just looked like we wanted it a little bit more than them today, which is, you know, whether they're, they're a little bit complacent because they've been on such a brilliant run and we just looked like we wanted it a bit more and that's probably detriment to us as well because why can we beat Spalding, draw with Harbour, draw with Anstey and we're, we're nowhere near in the mix. So we've got to look at ourselves for that this season. I know we've had a lot of problems. I know we've had like a lot of injuries and stuff like that, but... I still believe that we should be one of the top five teams in the league when we can get our best players on the pitch. Um, and today we had most of our best players on the pitch, you know, what's left of the squad. So, really good day. To a man, I thought my lads were outstanding. I thought defensively, we that's probably, that's probably as good as we've been defensively this season. Um, and I've said it once or twice, but that was, that was a proper test, you know. And at the end... I think if the game go on another 10 minutes, I think Harbour either get one with their dominant pressure or we nick one on the break because that was that type of game. Um, we looked lively on the break all afternoon. Um, that was a proper a proper team performance. That felt like a top of the table class, only we ain't top, we ain't nowhere near the top of the table. And, you know, I'll stand by it. I still think they'll, they'll go on to win the league. Um, Spalding will have a big say in that next week. Uh, that's a big game for these them two clubs, and they're the games we want to be involved in. Unfortunately, in but um, to a man, I thought my players really stepped up against a, a top top team. Over eight hundred here this afternoon. Obviously, we know the contingency with Corby was two hundred and fifty. They, they did your proud all afternoon and uh, yeah. kept going. But uh, in the middle of the park, it did feel that after the first half, it, it was kind of it was a battle was there. Yeah. And I, listen, I said this to the players, this this season ain't gone how any of us wanted it to, you know, on the field, off the field. That just hasn't. But we had an opportunity today to have a good day, have a good day in what's not been a memorable season. The punters are going to go happy, home really happy. I'm disappointed we conceded with probably eight, nine minutes to go or whatever. But I'm really happy that we then didn't fold. You know, we were still heading it, we were still kicking it. Their goalkeepers got mad of the match, I believe, mm. but rightly so, from their side. Um, and that tells you, you know, we've come to we've come to Harbour, we've had a go. Obviously, that was a little bit of a basketball game at the at the end with them going for it. You'd expect them to go for it, but you know, we could have kept it in the corner and took the draw, but we didn't. We kept going for it. Um, and I think that was a, probably a really good advert for step four football. Certainly from our point of view. Obviously, Mitch will be disappointed, but there's a there's a long way to go. He's he's been there before in these run-ins, and I'm lots of I'm sure that I'm, I'm sure, and I hope they do get over the line. Now there's been other off off out of beyond this game this afternoon. There's been images of uh, uh, ex Corby Town captain uh, Michael Jackson playing for any other team. Is, is there any comment on that so far? Yeah, Jacko texted me last week saying that he was going to go play for Spalding. Uh, Spalding, Lincoln, right? Lincolnshire, yeah, same area. Isn't it? Lincoln, Lincoln United. Obviously, that was in a quarter final of an FA Vars. Um, you know, he's one game away from Wembley with his hometown. So, you know, he, he was going to come here today and I rung him up yesterday and just said, look, you know, if you're going to be, you know, you've got a great opportunity. If I was you, I'd probably take it with eight games to go with Corby. Um, and I spoke to the guy at Lincoln and then obviously Jeff had decided that he was going to go play for them. And to be fair, I wish him I wish him all the best. I hope he gets to Wembley. And, you know, he's had a good career. He's a great lad. He's very, very honest. Um and, you know, he's been a good good player for Corby Town as well and for me. But, you know, he's he's 180 minutes from, you know, yeah. ending his career on a... Well, not ending his career, but late on in his career, having a having a special, special day. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have wanted to stop him doing that. So I probably made it easy for him. Um, that also gives me an opportunity to have a look at young Ryan doing the running, um, who's been outstanding at Bugbrook on loan. Shay's on loan there as well, scored last week. So... You know, Bugbrook's done well for us and hopefully I might be, might be able to send Kyle there as well. So that's a good little link we've got at step five. And if they can go there and do really well, then that's a, that's a little bit of a pathway with us having no reserves to to then come and play for Corby first team. But yeah, like I say, I wish Jacko all the best. Um, you know, Keebs played in there today. I thought he was, I thought he was magnificent.
Looking forward to being back at Steel Park next week. Of course, the first game against uh, Wolves or Wood at Steel Park. But uh, it's going to be another challenge, isn't it? Not really, mate, because we just don't seem to do very well at home, do we? All, all our memorable performances this year have, have been mostly away from home. Um, and that's strange because, but luckily we had 250 here see a decent performance today. And that's, in large, that's how 80% of the away performances have been. You've been fortunate enough to see most of them, as have I, as has Michael. But the home performances have just been really disappointing. You know, I definitely won't be saying pre-season Steel Park's going to be a fortress and this, that and the other, because that come and bite you in the behind. But like I say, really, really pleased with today. Um, like I say, you, 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 you get in your van, car, after coming to uh, Harbour Town and you ain't been beat, that's, that's obviously a great day for us. Excellent. Gary, we'll speak to you next week. Thank you. Have a good week.